Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. Um, I've got a, quite an unusual device to show you today, um, which I've got in this box in front of me. I've had this for a couple of weeks now. I've not actually had a chance to play with it properly yet, um, let alone show you guys. So I thought I'd um, get a video done today showing you this device. So what's inside this box is a three-in-one device. So firstly, it's a power bank, a 3,500 milliamp hour power bank. Secondly, it's a mobile phone case for iPhones, um, so it covers all recent models of iPhones, the 6, the 7, the 8 and the S, so it comes in three different sizes. And thirdly, it is a two-way radio, a UHF two-way radio, so quite a, quite a smart device really, and it allows you to turn your iPhone um, into a two-way radio effectively. So, as I say, the, the main, the, the first feature, sorry, not the main feature, the first feature is the power bank inside this thing. So, it's got a 3500 milliamp hour power bank, so you can charge your phone from this and you can also charge other devices and you can actually charge the case from a laptop or from a plug or um, from another power bank. So, it's quite easy to charge and it's just handy to have. Um, so, when your phone gets low, you've got quite a lot of um, punch there to keep it powered um, with that built-in um, power bank. The um, phone case itself is a really heavy duty phone case, it's moulded plastic so it's um, like hard plastic and soft plastic injection moulded all into one around a polycarbonate and fibreglass um, shell um, if, if that makes sense so it's, it's quite ruggedised and it's all one unit so there isn't bits and pieces that are going to fall off, it's all injection moulded around that fibreglass frame so it's pretty strong and pretty sturdy um, as phone cases go. And then there's the UHF radio. Um, so this co comes pre-programmed with 16 channels, but we'll come to that in more detail in a minute. And it does have a VFO as well, so you can enter any frequency um, in the UHF um, band or the UHF portion of the band that this covers that you need. So quite a smart little device, really. So just looking at the features of this device, it's got um, a frequency range of 400 to 470 megahertz UHF has 60 pre-programmed sorry 16 pre-programmed channels but you can change these to whatever you like the output power on high power is 1.9 watts and on low power 0.2 watts has a channel spacing of 25 kilohertz um, but you can set this as low as 6.25 kilohertz so you can use it for PMR and things like that and of course with it being 0.2 watts it's actually legal on PMR uh, battery power a 3500 milliamp hour battery in this which is um, quite quite good really as I say it is the power bank as well um, the battery standby time is 120 hours I've not actually tested this um, but with a battery like that on standby considering it doesn't actually do a lot else is is sounds pretty reasonable you can change the language it does have a timeout timer you can store and delete channels you can change the frequency step uh, you can change between wide and narrow deviation it does have CTCSS and DCS codes and of course it um, does go into standby after a period of time. So quite a lot of features on this thing and um, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll open it up, we'll have a look inside the box and see what this thing looks like. Okay, so inside we've got a manual, a little operating manual here and that comes in Chinese, uh, Russian, Spanish, Italian, German, um, there's all sorts of languages in there, it comes in quite a lot of different languages, um, so it gives you just an overview of the operation on, on this thing, but again, quite straightforward, I had a quick look at it before and I didn't even need the manual, it's pretty pretty straightforward, there's only four buttons on the back anyway, so you've got the manual there should you need it. We've got a cable here, a braided cable, which plugs into the power bank and into the bottom of your iPhone, it's got the iPhone connector there. Um, so that'll actually charge your phone from the power bank inside, which is which is quite good, and that's braided as well, so should last quite a long time. It's got moulded plugs on each end, so um, should be quite hard wearing. Um, we've got an antenna here, so this is a UHF antenna with an SMA style connector in the bottom, and it is a telescopic antenna for UHF. So is that a is that a quarter wave for UHF? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you've got the uh, the UHF antenna there, and of course you can. Um, have it uh, folded up there so it's just like a, a standard rubber duck antenna for UHF. We've also got a smaller antenna in here, a stubby antenna if you want to go a little bit more covert you can put that in the top so um, you can use that for sort of more short range comms. We've got the power bank itself which we'll have a look at in a second. 
We've got a USB cable there, which is for actually charging the power bank itself. So it's USB to USB. So you can plug that into a laptop or into a, uh, a mains wall adapter for, for USB and you can charge this, uh, this thing up. And then we've got a little lanyard wrist strap type thing in there as well. So this is the phone case itself and it does feel quite heavy and quite strong and, and quite rugged. Um, it is dual it's dual material injection molded so there's the hard plastic and the sort of soft rubber in there and it's it's all completely sealed um there's like a velvet cover on there which um, shows you how to put your phone in and that that sort of seals everything off but there's no sort of gaps and anything under here it, it does feel pretty strong I'm, I'm quite impressed actually i didn't know what to expect from this thing but it is um it is pretty impressive so what we'll do is we'll bring the camera in we'll just have a look at this in more detail we'll get the phone in there get the antenna on and stuff and we'll see how this thing actually works Okay, so you can see the phone case in a little bit more detail. It's quite nicely styled that, I quite like it. And as I say, all these bits here are all injection molded, so there's nothing that's gonna fall off or break. So all under here is all injection molded as well. So you can see, we've got the velvet um, cover in there which sort of protects your phone and keeps it from getting scratched, rubbing against the, any metalwork inside here. Um, so the phone actually just slips into place like so, and that's held held in there. Um, you can see we've got the buttons on the side there to operate your phone. So yeah, it looks like quite a nice device, doesn't it really, um, with a phone case on. You can see we can still access the silence and, and um, volume button there. We've got the up and down buttons on the side that you can operate. Um, underneath the speakers are all exposed and the plug there for plugging your phone into charge is still exposed as well. We've got the lock button on the side, and then here is your PTT button for the uh, the built-in radio. On the back, we've got a speaker here. We've got the control buttons, and we've got the OLED screen there for the radio itself, and you've got the hole in there for your camera and your flash to, to appear through. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. It does make your phone feel pretty good. I'm, I'm quite impressed, really. Um, Antenna-wise, if we just put an antenna on this, I think we'll go with the long antenna. Um, you just unscrew this protective cap on the top, and then just screw your antenna in on the SMA connector, like so. So there you have it. Turn your iPhone into a walkie-talkie. Okay, so if we just power this thing on, you've got the power button on the back there. So if we just press the on button there, the radio itself has come on. Now it's quite a bright screen, but I've got studio lights here, which are sort of sort of um, washing out a little bit but you can see the screen perfectly well in there there you go so yeah that's the vfo that we're on there so you can switch between memory so as you can see there we've got the up and down buttons so we can go through all the pmr channels here so we've got all the pmr programmed um, in that comes as standard but if we go back to vfo it's quite easy to change the frequency if you just press and hold the function button there you can select the different numbers there. So there's no rotary dial for this. You just press the function button and you can go through. Yep, yeah, and when you've got the when you got the frequency you want, you just press and hold function again and it will lock onto that frequency. So that's how you change the channel. So there's no knob for changing channel. You do it via the buttons. But once you get used to doing that, it's um, it's no big deal at all. It's quite easy to navigate round uh, round the device, um, and you can just go up and down in the VFO here like so. So it's quite straightforward. And if we just look at the function settings on here, we've got the volume. So you can turn the volume up and down in in here. I've got it set to ten. I found that was sort of a happy medium. It's not too loud, not too quiet. And if we go down, you can change the um, language. I've got the timeout timer, which you can go into and you can turn that on or off. So we've got 180 seconds, 120 seconds or 60 seconds. You can just turn that off. We've got delete channel, store a channel. We've got the step, so you can go through and change your step there. Oh, so it actually goes up to 100K. So you've got um, 6.25, 10K, 12.5K, 25K, 50K and 100K steps there. So that's quite handy if you want to navigate the VFO a little bit quicker. I'm going to actually just change that to um, 
We've got the beeps, you can turn the beep on and off. Like so, but we'll keep that turned off. Save, so that's battery save. Channel, um, so you can select between wide and narrow deviation there. Transmit power, high and low, so you've got the 0 0.2 watts and the 1.9 watt power settings there. So it's quite easy to go through. Transmit CTCSS, receive CTCSS, and you've got squelch. And that's basically the function settings. So quite easy to navigate around those menus once you get used to it. Um, it's um, it's pretty pretty easy. Um, I've had radios, so, so a lot of scanners, um, sort of program like that where you have to go through and select your select the number and then change the number rather than keying in a VFO um, frequency, as in you know four four six three hundred for example. So it's no um, no big deal. But yeah, I'm quite quite impressed with this thing. As you can see, I'm sure you'll agree, guys. The styling on it's quite nice. Um, it does does look pretty uh, pretty cool, and you've got the retractable antenna there. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put a call out and see if we can actually hear anyone on this. I'm not sure there's going to be anybody there. Um, that's the the nature of the beast with radio, especially when you want, when you want to test something. One thing the radio on this can't do is repeater shifts. You can't use this on repeaters um, because it doesn't have the relevant repeater shift uh, in here. But it doesn't really matter. It's okay for simplex use. Um, you know, and most repeaters require a license anyway, so you, you need a license to operate um, through a repeater. So it's it's handy. You've got that simplex option on PMR for for low power. Um, yeah. So what we'll do, guys, we'll just pause here and we'll put a couple of calls out. If not, we'll uh, we'll find another way of testing the transmit and receive audio on this thing. Okay. So as always, there's no one there to test. So what we'll do is we'll just test with one of my own radios. We'll just do a bit of an audio test and see what the transmit and receive audio is like. Okay, so to charge your phone with this device, it's quite easy. Just plug in your USB cable into the bottom, like so, and then plug the little lightning cable straight into your phone in the bottom. And you can see it's charging the phone there. Now this cable is compatible with iPhones. Some of the cheaper cables you get, they don't actually charge, but this is recognized by the iPhone, which is good. And to charge the actual power bank itself use the other lead that's supplied you plug that into the um, device at the bottom you can see the little LED, LED indicator comes on and you just plug that into your laptop or um, a wall charger supply and um, that will charge your your device like so and the little LEDs go off when the device is charged Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Quite a quite a smart device. I'm really impressed with it. I'm looking forward to doing some more testing with this. We will do a bit of a range test with it at some point, as with all the other radios we review on this channel. But I think for sort of first impressions, it's definitely um, definitely onto a winner there. Um, I can't really find any fault with it. It's it's pretty sturdy and rugged. Um, it's really nicely designed. Uh, the UHF radio definitely works inside it. Um, it will charge your phone. It takes on charge from another device, so yeah, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is Do you think there's a market for these devices? Do you think there'd be any use, um, or do you think they're just a gimmick? Let, let me know what you think. I'm definitely impressed with it. Um, it's it, you know it acts it acts well as a phone case. It's pretty pretty rugged, and of course you've got the option to take the antenna off and just put the little cap on. Should you not want to use it as a um, as a two way radio, you can just um, use it as a normal phone case. And if you just keep the keep the antenna handy, it's there should you need it. So yeah, let me know what you think in the box below, guys. If you want to buy uh, this device, there's links in the description below to the website and to the Banggood store where these come from. If you have any other comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And um, I'll leave that one there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, stay tuned. Got plenty more coming. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. 7-3.